So here we have some questions uh, from the internet. And uh, Edwin Fairchild asked, um, ST is one of the companies who make it really easy to develop for their products. You offer so many flavors of IDEs, but when you guys let us have ST Link, let's face it, there's tons of ST Link clones out there. Let us just have it open source and use it legally. That way we can design boards with onboard programmer debugger. It will only make ST MCUs that much more attractive. So what is your answer? Okay, thank you for uh, thank you for uh, your question. So this is true. We have uh, we have many IDs available today, but on demand we can also offer uh, ST Link software for free. Of course, uh, you can contact your uh, ST representative, and we will deliver you binary files for your custom board. So it's not open source? It's not open source, but it's available for free. So binary, we want to protect, we want to make sure that we deliver the binaries to the right people, to, to the one we know. You don't want to make it open source? No, there is no plan today to make, uh, to make it open source. And uh, this is for, for these? So what I'm, what I'm having here is in fact uh, ST-Link V3. This is a new generation of our low-cost programmer and debugger tool. It is, uh, comparing to ST-Link V2-1, uh, approximately six times faster. So it supports up to 24 uh, mega, megahertz of SWD connection. It has scan interface, it has I2C interface, it has UART interface, it has USB, and uh, and SPI interface. So this is a very, very low, uh, very low cost board. It costs in the range of 30, between 30 and 40 US dollars. And what people do with this? This is a board for programming your custom, custom external, uh, external board. So you have a, you develop your own board with our STM32 microcontroller, uh, STM32 or STM8, and then you use the board to dip, uh, to program and debug the application. All right. On the other side, what I have here is just to show you that if you have one of our big portfolio of Nucleo kits, so there are many of them, in fact, more than more than 20. So in this case, a Nucleos with 32, 64 or 144 pin, what you see on top, on top of the Nucleo, there is a programmer which you can cut off and use it as a standalone programmer. This is a ST-Link version 2. Uh, version 2-1. So it wouldn't be uh, just easier to also make it open source? Or? No, we, we want to, ST wants to, to protect the IP because it's a proprietary USB protocol. It's a mass storage device and it is a USB virtual component and ST-Link debugger.